What's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Zach. Or if you saw my last YouTube video, the guy who looks like that one bird. I totally look like one of those, oh my gosh, I look like one of those birds. If you're not already subscribed, please go ahead and clip that, clip. Please go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. Join our little aviation community. We are 58 strong. <laughs> but we are growing. Hey, you gotta start somewhere, right? Um, please give this video a thumbs up. Click the little bell next to the subscribe. Is it next to the subscribe button? I don't know. Click the little bell that's somewhere on that YouTube app so you get notified about my upcoming videos. Obviously from the title of the video, you already know what we're gonna be doing today. We are going to be doing an unboxing. No, wait. And unbagging. Yes, we are seeing what I have in my flight bag. This thing is packed completely full. This bag is from sporties.com. It's the, I think it's called the iPad. I think it's just called the iPad bag. Um, but yeah, one side effect of aviation, as most of y'all know, is you end up buying a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Anyway, so let's just get right into it. First off, we have this one pocket right here. That's where I keep my water bottle. Now, I have never actually finished an entire water ever for some reason, but that's where I keep my water. Then on this side, we have this pen. I have no idea what kind of pen this is, but it is my absolute favorite pen. I freaking love this thing. I do all my notes when I'm studying for my instrument written on this. But yeah, this is my favorite pen. When someone you know just pulled up out front and they can totally see what you're doing. Oh no. <laughs> Please take this as a quick commercial break from our sponsors. Planes! And that was a quick word from our sponsors. Anyway, back to the video. Then on the back side around here, we have another pocket where I keep my flashlight because I like to look in all the cracks and crevices of the airplane because I am super extra. So we got that. Right here, we have a fuel level indicator or without the technical terms, I just call it a fuel stick. It's just a fuel stick. Um, <laughs> So we got there, that there. I also had this tag on here, a little backstory. I flew, one of my instructors is actually, flies privately for, I think it's like a lawyer or something. Um, so I went on a flight with him one time and we flew to Phoenix, Arizona and they just gave us these. So I always keep that on my flight bag now. Um, so that's on this side of the flight bag. Let's go ahead and rotate on over to this side. Move this strap out of the way. We have a fuel tester and now, at, when I fly, I rent the planes from somewhere, so they always have these in the airplane, but it's definitely good to have your own just in case, you know, I don't have any. So we got that, where does this go? I got another pen on over here that has that little tip at the top for, you know, to poke at an iPad or whatnot. Um, always make sure you have lots of pens because you do lots of writing. And if you don't have a pen, then that, really sucks. <laughs> Next, we have a backup handheld radio. I don't know what kind this is. A, I don't, yeah, how the heck would you pronounce that name? Um, Yasu, Yasu? I actually did a lot of research on this, but I got it a long time ago, so I can't remember what on earth it is. But yeah, we got that. All right, so those are the side pockets. Um, obviously it has that strap on here, which is very useful for carrying. I actually had one of Sporty's other bags. Um, that was my first bag, but it just got to be too big, especially in those little tiny Cessnas. There's not much room. Um, and I got this one and this one fits everything perfectly. So yeah, so we got those two side pockets. Then we have this back pocket right here. So there's actually two sides of it. So we got one here and then the second pocket right there. So in this first pocket, I have a 152 checklist that I made myself. They're super easy to make. When you're doing your pre-flight of the airplane, I mean, it's absolutely perfect. I have notes written on it. 
I used, this is the same thing that I used on my check ride. So that's where I got this checklist from. I always keep this pad of paper. I freaking love this thing. Um, just because of how small it is, I have a ton of them and I use this every single time I fly. So that's the first pocket that's done. So we'll do the back pocket now, which I have right here is my knee board. Absolutely love this thing. This is the best knee board I ever got. Just on the inside, it's got a pocket right here. I sometimes put my phone in. There's two more pockets right here. Um, this is my pad of paper, like I said, and the length of this pad of paper, I got it from Office Depot. The length is perfect for this uh, knee pad. And I actually fly with an iPad mini. So I don't know if that affects anything. This is the clipboard. This actually comes out. Um, I keep my pen right here. Now this is a trick. If you have this knee board or if your um, knee board is able to do something like this, I don't know. Your iPad goes right here, right? And you'd have to click no, your iPad goes right here and you'd have to clip all your papers on over your iPad, which really sucks because then every time you look at your iPad, you have to lift up the papers and it just comes, it's just a mess. So what I did is I went to the Home Depot, I bought some Velcro. Wow. And this right here is actually felt. So all I do is I just clip that on right there and boom. I got my knee board right here. I mean, I'm sorry, I got my clipboard right here, put all my papers and everything I need right here. My iPad goes here. Perfect. I freaking keep looking at myself in the phone. That is the one struggle that you have when you're filming with your phone is you constantly want to look at yourself. But then when you go back and, you know, edit the footage or whatever, you're technically like looking off. You have to look at the camera. Anyway, that's my problem, not yours. So this knee board is $34.95 on sporties.com and it's called the Flight Gear HP iPad knee board. Wow, that was a mouthful. Um, so yeah, if you like this knee board and you want to go get that, hop on over to sporties i as you can tell i get a lot of my stuff from sporties just because i think their prices are super reasonable i love the colors i love the design um and i just think it all works well with each other so yeah boom with that back pocket i have a few more cards so bless my freaking second instructor he had amazing cards this is a card with all the local airports around my home base airport like it's got everything on here the towers the adises um pattern altitude field elevation runway length this thing is so useful especially like if you're in a pinch and you need it real fast um so i always just keep this in my knee board just in case i need to pull it out this okay i still keep this with me just because we're all human we all make mistakes we all could have brain farts like hey guys so i kind of blab on about this part um, so basically all the card is it tells you what to say at a non-towered airport and what to say at a towered airport So just to save us about six minutes of extra video about this one card. That's what it is. It's so helpful Next I have my actual checklist Checkmate. I use this for that my current plane I fly the 172 and like I said, just these little checklists right here. I mean, it's the perfect size. It fits in my knee board. It doesn't take up space in my fly bag and it tells me everything I need to know. So again, super helpful. And another checklist, my instructor definitely made this one um, for flight following. I still sometimes use this because I mean, even though I've been flying for a long time, I still sometimes get nervous. So I have the open lines right here and I just, like SoCal Approach, I ride in my Cessna uh, 5379 or seven. Um, I'm north of cable en route to LAX and all I got to do is read it off. So if you ever guys, I mean, I think it's a smart idea just so that you have a backup. I want to be on the read of being, uh, person one, um, uh, requesting flight, um, uh, and just forgetting. And then they're going to get upset. You're going to get frustrated and it's, it's just not going to be fun. That's a lot of stuff in that one pocket right there. Boom. <laughs> I think we've covered the complete outside of my bag. Let's go ahead and head on over to the front pocket. Now, like I said, this bag is packed full of stuff. So we got a lot of stuff to go through, but I mean, it might help you with some stuff that you want to have in your flight bag or you're thinking about getting your flight bag. So hopefully this video helps. Um, so we're gonna open this front pocket. Out falls out my GoPro chargers. I haven't really cleaned it out since my last flight to LAX. Oh, look at that. Another cameo. 
Again, you should check it out somewhere. The key card card that you clicked for my last video is somewhere up here. Check out that video. Yeah, so these are just my GoPro chargers from the GoPros that I use for that flight. I'll just set those over there. Um, GoPro mounts. So I actually, so like I said, I rent the plane, it's not mine. So I've been meaning to ask them if it'd be all right, if I could stick these to the top inside of the airplane, cause then everyone can use these mounts to film if they want to. Um, so yeah, I need to make sure I ask them to do that. Um, so we have, like I said, for those cards, here's my wipe off marker I use. It's a fine tip one, so it doesn't take up too much space on the cards. Pencil, another pen, I have a dongle. Um, and I'll explain why I have that dongle in a second. So let me just take this out right here. I have a pocket knife. My parents actually got me this for Christmas. It's a flashlight. Um, knife, seatbelt cutter, um, glass breaker. So this sucker is super useful. Well, I mean, I haven't had to use it yet, luckily, but <laughs> what else do we have in here? Um, I think that's it for that pocket but there's another zipper inside of this pocket. So we'll go ahead and unzip that. I have this guy right here. This is my audio recorder. So if you check out my last video, if you check out my last video, this is how I did all my audio recording. So that's what this guy is. Um, you can actually play music in the airplane. Now I actually didn't know this until like a few months ago and my instructor finally showed me like, you plug this into your iPad and then there's a certain spot on the panel that you plug it in. You can listen to music. And when someone talks to you over the radio, the music shuts off. When you talk, the music shuts off. So, um, and that's what this dongle is for. If I want to connect it to my cell phone, I can do that. But I mean, my iPad has a port. So actually I don't really need this dongle in there, do I? But anyway, I still have it just in case. This is, uh, I have a backup battery in here, which again, we'll also get to but this is to charge that backup iPad battery. Um, and then, yeah, that's all we got in there. Now we're getting into the big guns here, okay? So we have this big pocket and this is where I keep everything. So as you can already see, it's packed pretty full. It's two zippers right here. So like I said, this is, I mean, this is like one of my first phones that I had in high school it was the iPhone 5C. Um, so I just use this specifically for recording audio in the airplane and it works super well. The battery lasts long. So, I mean, super useful. So first thing we have on top is some foggles. And the cool thing about these foggles is, um, I've said it a million times, but my home airport is Cable Airport and I got these foggles specifically made for that. So there's my home airport right there. So yeah, I love these foggles. They're super good. If you all want to go get some, you can put your home airport on there or they got a bunch of different styles head on over to Certified Foggles and they will hook you up. Um, next we have a headlight, headlamp, 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 I don't know what you call it, but it goes on your head and it's light. So that helps, especially at night too, when you're doing a pre-flight around the plane, like make sure you have a light with you or else what, how the heck are you gonna be able to see? Next we have right here, I have my sunglasses. These are Ray-Bans and I actually designed them. So that's fun to do. You can design your own Ray-Bans the way you want to. I just got all black and then a black case. If you fly, first of all, I suggest definitely getting a pair of sunglasses because you're constantly looking outside with the sun and you don't want to hurt your eyes. Um, make sure you get sunglasses that have, they don't need to be Ray-Bans either. Like they can be any sort of sunglasses. They just need to be skinny because if you use thick sunglasses like I first used when I started flying, it hurts. It really hurts your ears with your headset on. It's constantly pushing that plastic into your head and it just hurts really bad. So any sunglasses with those um, thin edges that go, I don't know what they're called, the thin edges that go on here, I definitely suggest you get a pair of those. Uh, next, I'm not even embarrassed to talk about this. I keep deodorant in my bag. First of all, sinking is not, fun and especially when you're in a Cessna that's small like that and you fly in Southern California close together in a hundred flipping degree weather it gets hot make sure you wear deodorant I always keep one with me in case I'm running late or I need just need to reapply or whatever keep deodorant in your flight bag anyway moving on I have this bag right here I just keep um one of my GoPros in here I can't keep both of my GoPros in this 
fly bag just because the amount of space. But this is the GoPro Hero 7 Black. Got that GoPro, keep it in that bag just to make sure that nothing happens. Here is my flight. Here is my backup battery. This sucker is freaking huge. Like, look, this is it next to my head. This thing is huge. Um, and then on the back, it has a, just a bunch of like basic information, like um, transponder codes, emergency engine checklist, uh, cruising altitudes above 3,000 feet, you know, when you have to do um, odd thousands plus 500. And what other flight batteries have this? Again, this is from Sporties. I got it when they were having that deal where if you buy this big one, then you get the small one for free, which I just keep for personal use. Um, so we got that. This is like my favorite thing that I have in this flight bag. I absolutely love it. It is great. It is fantastic. It, it's awesome. Um, it's the Bose A20 headset. Um, I absolutely love this thing. I'm so blessed to have it. It's so nice on the ears, especially when you're doing long flights. It has noise cancel cancellation, like nobody's business. It is just freaking amazing. Um, so that's what it is right there. So again, I'm so blessed to have it. I absolutely love it. And I mean, I can't just, I just can't give it a high, high enough review. Then there's a little clip right here. I just tighten it and this gets held up on here um but it's just for my gopro to clip it up to record again so lots of recording stuff and then the last thing that i have in here is a log book now let me so now that i have my private pilot certificate i don't need to carry um a log book with me while i fly but after you're flying you need to put in a lot of information so what i do is i have my actual log book that i keep this is my real logbook. I keep this at home um, just because if you lose your logbook, it, that's going to be a nightmare. What I do is I carry this small guy with me and I just keep it in the back. And every time I get done with the flight, I just enter it in here. And when I get home, I put all my writings in here and put it in my actual logbook just because I don't want to carry that thing around. I've that's my freaking aviation career life. So I highly suggest to get, you, it doesn't have, you don't have to care. I just had this spare uh, small logbook laying around. So I was like, why not use that? You can even get a flipping notebook and just make sure you tally it down first and then move it to your actual logbook wherever you keep it. But obviously if you're not a private pilot and you're a student pilot, you do have to keep your logbook with you. Um, but after you get your private pilot certificate, then yeah, you're all good. So yeah, I definitely say doing say do that and i'm actually going to start every time you fill out a whole page in your logbook i also just suggest you take a picture of it so you have a digital copy just so i mean who knows your freaking house could catch on fire like losing that is gonna be a huge very sad time <laughs> trying to put it all back is an absolute nightmare well, while i'm doing this i'm wearing this sweatshirt um this is actually from Big Bear Airport, which, hey, would you look at that? Why don't you go ahead and click on the card that's somewhere up here. I don't know where it's going to be, but it's it's somewhere up here. Check out my first flight vlog of when I went to Big Bear Airport. Got this sweatshirt. Um, super fun time. I totally enjoyed that flight. But yeah, go ahead and check that out. All right. And the last pocket of my flight bag is this guy right here. And... I mean, it's not called the HP long name flight bag for no reason, because that's where you keep your iPad is in this pocket. And that's where that um, opening from the other pocket leads to, because there's actually a side pouch in there. Side pouch, that's where I keep my portable charger. And that's where that hole leads to here is so that you can be charging your iPad while you doing whatever else you're doing but yeah so that's what that pocket is for so yes that is my whole flight bag all right so i thought that was everything in my flight bag but i actually forgot to mention two things so i'm going to do that real quick i got this bag i got it 
with my name on it. So any of Sporty's bags that you get, you can actually put your name on it and choose a little like airplane emblem or helicopter, whatever you want to put at the top, which I think is pretty cool. And then also I have this pocket in the front that I forgot to show y'all. So it's just a little tiny pocket up front. What I have in here is just extra batteries. So that's what's in that pocket. But just want to tell you guys real quick. Like I said, it's jam packed. I got this thing stuffed to the brim. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Oh shoot. Well, since I'm at my desk, I mean, we all gotta, we know what we gotta do. Woo! Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, just wanted to do a quick little, what is up with this? My desk is just falling apart. Oh. All right, well, that's not supposed to happen. Oh. Well, thanks for watching my fly bag unbagging. I just broke my desk. I got to go fix that. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I love you guys. I appreciate you for watching my videos. I really enjoy doing these. I get to take you all along my flight journey. And I can't wait to see where this all leads me. I'm going to go fix my desk. And I will see y'all on my next video. They are still looking at me. You might be wondering, Zach, are you really that extra to where you moved your entire desk just for this video? Possibly.